Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to preview your UI without needing to start the app. So as you can see now, I just built this simple composable that's called Test Me. I just called it like that because I don't have a name for this uh, UI widget. But anyways, so as you can see, what we have here basically is a box. And inside that box, I just show a button with a test me text and I also apply a clip modifier to show rounded corners for this box. Now I called this test me function inside the main function, set content function here and let's see what it looks like and then I'm going to show you a different way to preview your UI without needing to launch the emulator. Okay so as you can see this is how it looks like, it also supports the night mode so let me just uh, click here. And this is how it looks like in the night mode. So black background, but in the uh, in the light mode, it looks uh, the background is gray. So now let's actually see how we can preview this composable without needing the emulator. So to do that, simply you can just create a composable function here, and let's name that test me preview. And now we call the function or the UI that we want to preview, and we also need to add the preview annotation. So now let me just add a preview annotation and now if we click on the split mode on the top right and wait a bit, now let's click on this reload then as you can see we were able to preview our test me composable function. If you are using the material theme composable function, if you are using anything from the material theme, you need to add the, the material theme composable function for your project, so in my case compose uh, compose preview theme and then we add that into here just in case you are using colors or maybe typographies from your uh, material theme so make sure to add that and now nothing will change because I didn't use the material theme design in this composable now let's say you also want to show the night theme preview for this one we can simply duplicate the preview annotation and we can make this one for the night mode so we can say UI mode and here we can pass UI mode night yes and now as you can see Compose just created another preview for us and here you go the black preview the buttons are different because we are using dynamic colors so let me disable that uh, dynamic colors let's make this false and now the color of the button is purple as we expect and we can pass the name parameter here let's say light and same thing in here so I'm gonna just pass the name in here and I will pass night and as you can see the name is here so it added the light word as we pass it in the name here and there's another important attribute that you might use which is the show background so if we enable this is true uh, let me enable this in here as well and you will see that in here, actually, in here, the background is visible. Let's let's make this false. And as you can see, the background disappeared. And when we enable this is true, it will actually add your background color. Now, let's also say you want to change the width of this preview. You can simply do that with width dB. And you can, for example, pass 200 dB. So as you can see, it got smaller. Same thing for the height, so we just can, we can uh, change the height to 100 for example, as you can see the height for this one changed. You can create as many as previews you want, so there's no limit on that. So let me just create another one here, like that, and I will just copy this and pass this one for the night mode here. Let's actually add the UI mode for this one, and here you go, so as you can see we created four different previews for our UI element. Now there are different attributes you can use if you go to the preview, to the implementation of this preview annotation, you can see that it receives many things here and I covered the most important ones that you always need. Okay guys, so that was all for this video, I hope you like it, if you did then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a great day, catch you in the next video.